Okay, just made dinner. I just made Big Mac bowls. It's super simple. It's just like lettuce. I use meatless crumbles from Gardein, chopped pickles, chopped tomatoes, some cheese. I did smoky cheddar cheese on top. It's really good. This one from Target. I made a Big Mac sauce and put sesame seeds on top and it looks very, very yummy. Also, our I mean, it's destroyed now because yeah, we've been eating it. We ate it, but our um, housemate's friend brought us a little cream puff that she made with ice cream and fudge, and it was it's so good. It's super yummy. We're going to eat this and then get ready to go to the show. i got to eat dessert first, and then I'll eat my dinner. You look cute in your Joe shirt. Oh, thank you. You look. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's time for a fit check. Where? What the hell? There is a tortilla in the snow. Did you do that? No. Okay, here is my fit check for. Why would be doing a fit check right now when there's a tortilla in the snow? <laughs> Go eat it. See if it's a tortilla. This is my fit check for the show. Got my Doc Martens on, my BDG um, cargo pants from Urban, this Hollister mock neck, and then pretty much wear the same outfit, I swear, to like every concert. And then my hair I have in two little ponytails. Are you still looking at the tortilla in the snow? No. I'm going to take a picture of it. Um, I have my hair in two little ponytails, and then I have my Capricorn necklace on from Target, and these two, or this pair of little hoops from Target as well. So, we're gonna head on over to the show. Oh, you're looking at me? What are you up I'm to? looking at the tortilla. <laughs> okay. How did a tortilla get in the snow? It's like the snow melted and now a tortilla appeared. Maybe Kyle put it there? There's probably a tortilla in my car somewhere. <gasps> okay. My tummy's really full. <clears throat> I must show you guys the tortilla in the snow since Cody keeps talking about it. Do you see it? It's right there. It's a tortilla, bro. How did it get in the snow? It's part of our blanket that used to be on here. Okay, ooh. Since it's still really cold out, I'm gonna wear this jacket with this outfit. I'll show you it in my full length mirror. I feel like the lighting's better in there. Well, the lighting might not be better in here, but. Should we get in then on this fit check? Well, Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, let me get in on this. Right. <laughs> this is a tortilla close up. Hi. Oh, you want me to show what I was going to say? Mm -hmm. There's something really important for all of you on YouTube. Basically, you know, sometimes you just gotta live a little. That might mean waking up, looking out the window and saying, wow, well, look at life. Or it could be what I like to personally do. Eating fun dip for breakfast. Add this to your breakfast, your day will be insane. Have it with your coffee. Get a sugar rush with your coffee. 
Fun dip. Ugh! You're just gonna be fiending for fun dip every morning when you wake up, just like you're just fiending for your coffee. You're gonna be fiending for fun dip. That's that's where I'm at. Just live a little. Okay, so we just, well, okay. Earlier today I watched the movie The Menu with my family and then I decided when I came home I needed Cody to watch it too. So we just finished watching it and it's a crazy movie. It's actually, I actually thought it was good, but it was crazy and I did not expect the ending, but it was also kind of like funny at the same time too. It's a horror satire, so. Anyway, I would recommend if you haven't seen it before, it's on HBO Max right now. It's good, but what's funnier, well, okay. I'm gonna give you time right now. If you don't want a slight spoiler, please skip ahead like 20 to 30 seconds on this video right now. Skip ahead, I'm giving you a warning right now if you don't want a slight spoiler. Okay, so after we watched it at my parents' house, we made s'mores, which if you know the movie is slightly morbid. But then tonight, when I was watching with Cody, I went to grab a Flips yogurt and um, it is also s'mores flavored, so what are the chances? <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, it's like 8.45 now. I gotta get ready for, to go to bed, but just wanted to give you a little update on that. Okay, I am really excited because I'm going to make this soup that sounds so yummy. It is this smoky jalapeno cheddar um, potato soup by olive and mango so just like look at this picture that looks so good and then we're going to dip pretzel buns in it which reminds me i gotta set up set them out because they're in the freezer since they like were best buy a couple days ago so i'll probably have one cody will have two so i'll set those out to thaw I didn't even show them to you, but I'm going to start by chopping up all the veggies. There's a lot of veggies to chop up, so we'll do that first. Here are the pretzel buns.
Okay, here is the soup. It is all done. It tastes so good. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like pretzel cheese with like veggies and stuff in it. I don't know. It's going to be so good. Obviously, that's why the recipe says to dip pretzel bread into it, but wow. It, it just tastes a little of the broth, but I think it's going to be so good. All right, here is the soup. It looks so yummy. Mm -mm -mm. It actually doesn't look fantastic, but it's going to taste fantastic. Well, I don't even know. I'm afraid to eat mine. It's going to be hot. Okay, this soup is phenomenal. For these thawed. Mm-hmm. Mmm. This is so good. And the pretzel bun, absolute fire. This this is the soup this is the soup i will link the recipe down below but wow i wouldn't say it's the healthiest thing ever but i would say it's one of the most delicious soups i've ever made so you need to try it okay if you haven't tried it please do me a favor and try it because that is seriously it's seriously so good okay i'm gonna go bring this in here and watch dexter while we eat Okay, so I have a day off of work today, and my sister does too, so we are going to go try a new coffee flight at, well, a coffee flight at a new place called The Last Drop. It's in this place called Gray's, Gray, yeah, Gray's, where there's just like a bunch of different vendors in there that you can buy from, and um, yeah, so they have a coffee flight there. It looks really, really good, so we're going to drive out there this morning, and we are going to try one of those and then I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and then we are going to watch the new murder mystery movie with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler because it just came out today so I will see you all there Ooh, that one's good. And very good. Trace Lakers, that was the sea salt caramel. That one's really good. Trace Lakers. Oh, oh yeah, that one's so good. That's definitely the best one. Rose cold fruit. Ooh. <laughs> very rosy. Wow. And this one's a very pretty color. Oh, yum. That's really good. I love these. Three. These three are really good. This one's a bit much. Okay, I'm back home now. Um, my sister and I went to the coffee shop. 
we got there like three minutes after they were supposed to open and the doors were locked and we were like um are they not open but then it ended up just being a mistake but we were the first ones there <clears throat> we were the only ones there for a while it was so cool that place honestly it has the best vibes it's so pretty inside like it's just so cool so yeah anyway um the coffee was so good our favorite was the tres leches latte i tried to get a video of myself trying them but it was very quiet and we were the only ones in there so it was kind of awkward but anyway the tres leches latte was our favorite we also really liked the sea salt caramel latte and the honey lavender matcha the rose cold brew was really strongly rose flavored so if you love rose flavor you'll love it but we're not super into it. like it literally it was really flowery and floral and like kind of like perfumey so it was not our vibe so we chugged that first and drank the rest it was really fun then i almost forgot to buy queen tickets whole morning i'm like okay hey, can't forget to buy queen tickets they go on sale at 10 a.m we're literally sitting there and my sister's like is it 10 a.m yet and i was like oh my god it's 9 57. sorry my camera battery died but so i had to quickly get in the queue and then we couldn't, like, my sister couldn't get in the queue, and then I couldn't, and then I could get in the queue, but I tried to get five seats next to each other, like, seven times, and it wouldn't let me. So then I had to just get four, which is kind of sucks, because then my sister can't go, but they are adding another date. So I did get four tickets, but they're adding another date the day after, so maybe I'll try to get tickets, and me and my sister can go the next day, I would definitely go twice. I'm so excited. So yeah, got queen tickets. And then we went to Trader Joe's to try to find this lemon like Alfredo sauce that they had and this lemon pasta. They didn't have the lemon pasta, but they had the lemon Alfredo sauce. So we'll probably just put that on pasta someday. And my sister got a lemon sheet cake and it was super yummy. Then we went to Crumble because the cookies looked really good and the macadamia nut, white chocolate macadamia nut one was my favorite. I also really liked the peanut butter one. It was like based off of a nutter butter if you know what that is, I mean, most people know what that is. And then there was a s'mores one, which was okay. I wish there was more marshmallow in it. And then what was the other one? Oh, Snickerdoodle. That one had really good, like, cheesecake cream cheese frosting. So that was yummy. Um, What else did we do? We went to Walmart, got some extra food stuff I needed. Went to Target, got a couple extra food stuff we needed. Then we went home, ate lunch, watched The Masked Singer. I had to catch up on it. My sister made a Gardein Ultimate Burger for me and her, and it was so good. And then we watched the new Murder Mystery 2 movie. It was fine. Probably wouldn't watch it again or recommend it. It was, like, hard to follow. I don't know. It was just, like, a whole thing. But it was, it was just, like, a lot, and it wasn't that exciting. I don't know. The first one was way better, so... I don't know. It was fine. I It was fine. And now I'm making mahi-mahi for dinner, so... I have the fish in here. Ready to cook, it's got taco seasoning on it. Well, I couldn't close that apparently, but I have the mahi-mahi in there. I'm going to make some minute rice. I like to mix white rice and brown rice because um, brown rice is just like better for you, I think, I don't know, and, but I don't like it by itself. It can be kind of like chewy, so I like to mix it with white rice. My mom taught me that, thanks mom. And then we're going to put kosa on it. I have that made in the fridge right now, and this mango lime chamoy. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is a recipe my mom makes a lot, and so I, try, I I haven't tried it this way yet. I've had it where she makes it without this, I think, but she just recently added this to it, and she said it's really good, and I tasted this by itself, and it is really good, so I'm really excited to try it out. I will show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, here is the meal. It's just rice on the bottom, coleslaw, and then I have the piece of fish on top that I rubbed uh, taco seasoning all over, and then the mango lime chamoy. Yum. Okay, let's let's taste this. This is such a good easy dinner. The mango lime chamoy really does it for me. For real. For real, it's so good. It does say mild, but it is a little bit spicy. If you truly don't like spice, it might be too spicy for you, but I think it's like perfect amount of spice. One mm. thing that I do with the leftover coleslaw juice, just so stuff doesn't go to waste, there's a lot of juice in here. If you get all the slaw slipped out of it, like you eat it. And then I save that for my cereal for breakfast in the morning, the slaw juice. It's 
good. He's lying. <laughs> You're a lying liar. Is there supposed to be fish in here somewhere? Yes. <laughs> it's right here in the air fryer. Here. Oh, like a big chunk. Mm -hmm. There's. It came with four fillets, so we'll have this again Salmon? on Sunday. No, this is mahi mahi. What is that? Mean? That's a kind of fish. All right, we're gonna eat this mahi mahi. Bowl and watch Dexter. Dexter Morgan. That's him. That's him. We're gonna eat this. I got this actually like a while ago, but I forgot it at my parents, so it's been in the freezer. It's a Boston cream pie cupcake or muffin. I'm not really sure which one, but I'm gonna cut this in half so we can share it. Look, there's a little bit of filling right there at the bottom. Pretty good. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be like super dry from being in the... The only thing I wish is that there was more of the filling, but otherwise, it's yummy.